Ashley and Chris here. We're in the Grand Caymans and at the Queen Elizabeth Botanical Park where the Blue Iguana Recovery Program is. Now this is the first blue iguana that we saw at the entrance. Looks like he might have a case of MBD or maybe fell out of a tree or, I mean not a tree, or, but maybe fell on something, I don't know. This park is just beautiful and I highly recommend it if you go to the Cayman Islands. There's a lot of birds here, as you can tell. We also saw one of the Cayman Island snakes already. He's eating some sort of berry that has fallen on the floor. <laughs> oh, was that one? <laughs> that one my shoe. They no, you like your shoe. <laughs> so they don't climb still? They have to. The, the one on, climb out of this? You have a big one in the front. Did it get hurt or does it have MBD at some point? Was it? That you have a big one in the front with a bent tail. Did it have a metabolic bone disease at some point or no. was it hurt? Oh, the one over there? With the little no, it was one like that. We already we did uh, we did x-rays and everything. Yeah. It's like that, everything is perfect. Maybe it was yeah. hit when it was small or something, uh, but the spine okay. is all right, yeah? Uh, we, can oh, turn right we did all the x-rays. Right <laughs> 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 well, it's I think so. That's cool. Hey, big boy. Okay. Wow. 
she's 24 years old. Okay, we're still at the Blue Iguana Recovery Program within the Botanic Park. And we stumbled across an area with uh, three iguanas we see. This is one of them. We were fortunate enough just to just have a tour of the entire breeding facility. Um, you just have to get here before 11 o'clock. I highly recommend it to anybody who intends to visit Grand Cayman. This is somewhat like how their native habitat looks. There's another one. Just wanted to note it's about 1 p.m. but the uh, afternoon sun, it's pretty hot. And uh, in their native habitat, the blue iguanas look like they're seeking the shade. There's another one back there. We've probably seen about eight to ten iguanas free roaming throughout the park so far. We've also seen some sort of a knoll and a racer snake. It appears our other friend went back over here to seek shade. We're now getting the head bob treatment from this iguana. Hey, now we stop doing it, figures. Another iguana that came out while we were sitting on this picnic table. She seemed to have been interested in us. She was originally in the bushes. So again, this is probably one of the 40 free roamers that the Iguana Warden told us about that are in the Queen Elizabeth Botanic Park. Now we're probably up to about 12 iguanas that we've seen.